Page 66. Alice in Wonderland. One day, Alice was lying under a tree, listening to her sister reading a story. Suddenly, she saw a white rabbit scamper by. He had pink eyes and was wearing a blue coat. He took out a big watch from his waistcoat pocket as he hurried away. He said, Oh dear, I'll be too late. She thought there was something very different about this rabbit. It could talk. It wore a red waistcoat and it carried a watch. Alice wondered, a talking rabbit? A rabbit who wears a waistcoat? Alice was burning with curiosity and she followed the white rabbit. Page 67 The rabbit started running and Alice followed the rabbit. The rabbit suddenly popped down a large rabbit hole. Alice jumped into the rabbit hole too. The rabbit went down and down and down and down into the rabbit hole. Alice said aloud, Where am I? How many miles down have I fallen? I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth. She wondered, Will I slip through the earth to the other side? Thump! Alice landed on a pile of dry leaves. She looked around quickly and suddenly saw the white rabbit again. It disappeared, saying, Oh, my ears and whiskers, how late it's getting! Alice stood up and saw a small door about 15 inches high. It was too small for her to go through. She saw a glass table with a golden key on it. Page 68 She tried the little golden key in the lock and to her delight it fitted. Alice opened the door and looked into the loveliest garden she had ever seen. How she longed to be among those beds of bright flowers and those cool fountains. But she could not even get her head through the doorway. Oh, how I wish I could become smaller! She exclaimed loudly. Adapted from Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. New words. Scamper. Hurried, popped, disappeared, whiskers, reading is fun. 1. While listening to the story, what did Alice see? 2. What was different about the rabbit that Alice saw? Page 69. 3. Where did the rabbit go? 4. How did Alice reach Wonderland? 5. What strange things did Alice see? 6. Describe in your own words the garden that Alice saw. Draw the garden of your dreams. Space has been provided for you to draw. 8. Tick the correct answer. The rabbit had Option 1. White eyes Option 2. Big eyes Option 3. Pink eyes Who was burning with curiosity? Option 1. Alice Option 2. The rabbit Option 3. Children who fell down and down and down? Option 1. Alice Option 2. A mouse Option 3. The rabbit Page 70. Who said, 
Oh, my ears and whiskers, how late it's getting. Option 1. The Rabbit Option 2. Alice Option 3. Alice's Sister The garden Alice saw was Option 1. Big Option 2. Lovely Option 3. Small Let's talk. 1. Describe some of the sounds you hear at night. 2. Imagine you are Alice and your partner is a rabbit. What would you do? 3. What do you think Alice saw in the garden? 4. How could Alice have got into the garden? Let's write. 1. Find one word from the story that means A. To walk fast, H. Blank space. B. To think, W. Blank space. C. Happy. D. Blank space. D. To be seen nowhere. D. Blank space. E. At once. Q. Blank space. F. Move fast. S. Blank space. G. To be inquisitive. C. Blank space. Page 71. 2. Give another word for the ones given below with similar meanings and make sentences. Now write the opposites of these describing words and make sentences with them. After every word, there's a blank column where you have to write the opposite word, followed by another blank column where you have to write a sentence using the opposite word. Now write the opposite word of lovely, followed by a sentence in the second blank column using the opposite word of lovely. Talking Blank Blank Listening Blank Blank See Blank Blank Center Blank Blank 3. Imagine you are going on a journey to the center of the earth. What do you think you will see? What would you feel? Blank space has been provided to write your answer. 4. Alice follows the strange rabbit because she wants to know a number of things. Rearrange the words to make the questions that Alice has in her mind and put a question mark. A. Talk rabbit a how can. Blank space. B. Going he is where. Blank space. C. Read he can time the. Blank space. D. Hurry is in a why he Blank space. Page 72. Teacher's page. Unit 4. Poem. Why. Story. Alice in Wonderland. Themes. Curiosity and wonder. Developing creativity. This unit builds up a sense of imagination, curiosity, wonder and creativity, self-expression courage and spontaneity. Warm-up Initiating a class warm-up time with children playing a game or exercising around. Pose as if you are a statue showing different expressions. Smile Share Think Imagine Wait Reading time Along with the text, Children can be encouraged to read or enact Alice in Wonderland and other fairy tales. Through the use of words, 
the child can let his friends see the wonderful stories and poems he invents in his mind. Sharing time Talk about curiosity with children. Ask them questions related to what they are curious about or interested in. Where do they experience most things? Answer the various questions that they would like to ask. Tell them to read the newspapers and talk about important events. In what areas do they get their best ideas? Creative time An environment that is laced with the child's freedom to express how he thinks the world is can be encouraged by any medium that she or he chooses, for example, through role play. For example, what do you want to be? Why? Aesthetics. For example, creating rhymes, music, art, craft. Language corner. Use of dictionary in the classroom is very important. It will encourage the students to increase their vocabulary and understand different words. The teacher can use the mother tongue to explain difficult words and ask them to make sentences of their own. Environment Vermiculture is a simple, efficient and environment-friendly technique to decompose organic waste into valuable organic manure. Help from the local school gardener can be taken.